we re we return and yeah I was going to go one of these ways and I did make a CD image of my game disk and yes my computer has some trouble with that has some trouble with that for some reason took several minutes to get oh about 4% of the damage done, but then it just started flying after that. Hmm, what's this? Looks like a new gun. Hmm. No more bullets. I won't get far. Yeah, it looks like an Uzi, perhaps. Each uses its own ammunition, of course. And no health. Hmm, is that? Why, ah, yes, it is, but I'm not going to waste that here. But we will be filling up that weapon inventory through the course of the game. Which is going to include some very rather unusual weapons. So is this the end of the road in this direction? Good, that means I chose correctly. Back we go. Also, it's handy that this stake set has of mounted on his left arm never breaks. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Looks like someone burned someone. Another one bites the dust. Mm. That doesn't open and. I'll give them a group rate. Oh. And... Oh. Come on now. Okay, this is getting a bit boring. Can we get to a different environment? Hmm. And also, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Hmm. Landing. What landing? That's more random than usual for this game. that they the Risa from Dusk Till Dawn series since for some reason the kind of vampires they have in that a lot of those movies are rather um, unusual. I'll be interested in seeing what they do with that. Those guys are slow. Also, Seth seems surprisingly nonplussed about being set on fire. I do have to 
wonder about the hand the handgun being so easily able to cleave the head of hmm and again it does turn in Fallout 3 which I hate Guns do not work that way, Bethesda. Absolutely nothing here. <sighs> you silly. Mm. Huh? I'll kill you all. Yeah, and remember the alarm over. Hey, why can't I? Save some mech now we're gonna have to play it tight. Mechanics somewhere. Why do we have to play it tight? Tell me. So with this script, I doubt even you know. I'm gonna beat you like a red-headed stepchild. Find the mechanics here. Maybe. Oh, well, there's someone over there by the thing. Just look like a forklift. Huh. Um, hi. Now you are just a vampire. to you too. Can I run? Yeah. The unusual, unusual workings of this flamethrower. It's more like it fires a projectile that leaves behind the... Uh, hello? I'm not sure how much good that's going to be given, given the lack of, you know, headspace here. Okay, I guess those are the mechanics we are here to rescue. Right. Move your ass! This ain't no goddamn fucking tea party! Feelings. And for some reason you are way too tough. I guess you are some kind of named boss. Okay. You get the shotgun. I'll be dancing the Tarantino in hell! Yeah. Remember the Alamo! Okay.
And... So long, amigo. No, he had a flamethrower. Hey, Taylor, chief mechanic. <laughs> Not bad on that other jerk. <laughs> you got hit good. I went pro at sundown. Hurry up! And let's get some health. Also, no, given that guy had a flamethrower with a tank on his back, it would have been a nicer way to kill him, I think, with you. You had shot in him in the tank and blowing him up. Bummer. The vampires are in the injection room. They're transfusing contaminated blood to the corpses. What is the injection room? Why are there corpses there? Follow me. Let's go upstairs. And okay. why can you so so easily infuse blood into the corpses there? Do you have a room specifically made to? Stick. What's that? The the engine engine the given out. The ship's engine pull is too strong. Hank, come with me. The others stay back. Okay, and keep your distance behind us. What does that mean? That we can drop the anchor and stay put. Why is that a bad thing? I don't know the workings of big boats like this. So which way is out? Um honestly. I don't see a door here. Well I see one behind all the rubble here, but uh Oh, this way? running to oh, fine stay put um, yeah this is our new buddy he has a shotgun which you know given the sound effect and the rate of fire it apparently is a pump action shotgun but it doesn't look like that well, we are off to do something with the engines, stop the vampires in the injection room, I don't know. Actually, let's go on for a bit longer. Seems that for some reason I have developed a habit of... Uh, I've developed a habit of overestimating how long I have been playing this game when recording this. Hey, there we go. Again, to reload the button is not for clip and reloading stuff. Isn't really. Hmm. Isn't really doing anything. Oh. Oh. Ah, there was our friendly neighborhood mechanic with his shotgun. Yeah, you kill that vampire while I, co I conserve ammunition. He has a name which is listed in the manual, which I already forgot. Oh, oh. Sneaky. Oh. To play it tight. Really? Um, why? How? But do you know that I don't? Hey, um, okay? You, you're mine. Your mind? Hmm. Oh, let's use it. 
to Frank Pippen for a bit. Mm. Ah, this one. Okay, a bit of animation. Hopefully I'm going in the right direction. To be honest, I'm not following the From Dusk to Dawn series. Oh. I don't even know if it exists. It's from the cinema snobs webcasts discussing them episode by episode. Um, oh! Oh! Now the trouble begins. Hey! Oh! I had an Uzi. Um. Okay. Ah. Small mistake. Happy birthday! Let's get it. And some more flamethrower fuel. Uh, I don't know if you saw that popping up. Scott called me that bastard has a birthday today. For some reason, I went, even though it's. Uh, it's half past midnight actually. No, 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 no. no. I was clicking out all my might, but I should have stayed. Oh! <clears throat> Where were all you guys? Oh hell, they're coming up from behind! Don't say. this video here then. Stay safe and don't get in the ways of any flamethrowers.